Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Simply Map to map the percentage of people who are interested in a particular product or a particular activity. In this case, I'm looking at like people who are interested in going fishing or hiking or canoeing or mountain biking, that sort of thing. Now, what I can do if I'm going to open a store in, say, like Spokane, Washington, I need to determine like where those people are who are engaging or buying that product or engaging in that activity versus like where the competitors are. Where are the other sporting goods stores in that location? In order to figure out if I'm going to be too close or too far away from my competitors. Uh, this video shows you how to find the information and map it out in a database called Simply Map. A great way to figure out your demand scenarios and your feasibility of opening a business in a particular location. So here you go. So when you get to Simply Map, the first thing you want to do is create an account with Simply Map. Um, you don't necessarily have to. You can sign in as a guest, but your work, as it says here, will not be saved. If you do create an account, uh, once you sign in, I'm going to sign in as me here, it'll actually load the last tab you're working on in Simply Map. And Simply Map is a great database. Uh, sometimes the name's a little bit funny because sometimes the searching in here is not so simply. Uh, it's easy to find the information, know what you're doing, but it can take a while to find the information. So I definitely encourage you to create an account uh, to, to, uh, so you save your stuff and it will appear when you, when you first log in. When you first log in, it will be presented with this screen where you can uh, launch a new map straight, straight from the start. I'm actually going to do a report first because I want to compare uh, different variables in Spokane, Washington as far as like outdoor interest. So I'm going to click on standard report here and you can do uh, launch your standard report wizard or click start here. I'm actually going to start over here because it's pretty intuitive. I'm going to do locations first and I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a city. You can also do a county. You can do a zip code. Um, and so I'm going to do state is Washington. And I'm going to do city is Spokane. And we'll use this location. Uh, you can also uh, go in and say I'm looking for, compare it to uh, Seattle as well. And use this location. And we're going to close that. It's not going to really do anything because we don't have any data yet. Um, so what we can do now is click on variables. And here's where it can get a little tricky because you don't actually know where the variables are. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, is actually go over here and search. And let's say I want to search for uh, hiking. So I'm going to search hiking. And it's going to bring up 21 variables here. We can see we have a uh, percent who bought, looks like, one pair of hiking shoes in the last uh, 12 months. Percent who bought three pair, uh, things like that. If we scroll down some more. Uh, we see there's information on percent who um, uh, do hiking every chance they get. So that might be something to look at here. Uh, you can see that it's in this sports and fitness category uh, under the Simmons local folder. So what I would encourage you to do is you can actually go and browse to here. For the meantime, I'm actually going to click use this variable and I'm going to find a couple others in here. Let's say if you want the number as well. Um, use this variable. Now if you're going to compare a larger city to a smaller city, it might be easier to do the percentage versus the total number. Um, here's percent who like to travel and who do camping and hiking when they go traveling. So we'll use that variable. Okay. And so different things like that. So uh, percent who do occasionally uh, do hiking, use this variable. And if we close out of that, it should add our data here and comparing Spokane, Washington to Seattle, Washington. All right, so uh, if we want to, we can actually add another location. And if we say, let's look at uh, cities and let's do, um, let's do Indiana. And we'll do um, Muncie, Indiana. Use this location. And as we close out of that, you can see how the percentages change. Uh, based upon um, the different averages and percentages there. Okay. Now, uh, I mentioned before, um, if you click on this view metadata here, you can see that this path is in the Simmons local folder, entertainment, leisure, sports and fitness, uh, things like that. So you might actually go under and look for under variables. There's Simmons local. If you scroll down, there is a uh, um, entertainment leisure. Went too far there. Entertainment leisure. Here is uh, sports and fitness. All right. So here we have seldom, every chance I get, occasionally, and let's just do participate last 12 months here. 
And you can see here's people who, who did number who did fishing. Okay, uh, percent who did fishing. Uh, here's your percent who did hiking, backpacking, number who did hiking, backpacking. Right? <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. Here is bicycling mountain road. Pretty cool. I'm a big fan of mountain biking and road biking. Uh, we can click use this variable. So these are all kinds of uh, things we can look at um, uh, in, in pertaining to our, our uh, opening an outfitter or something like that. Here's percent who did canoeing and kayaking. That's pretty cool. All right, and use this variable. And as we close out of that, we see we found all these other variables just by browsing to that Simmons local folder, and we have this percentage here. Now, if you wanted to, uh, you can go under locations, and if you wanted to do like zip codes in Spokane, Washington, all you need to do is go under locations, for example, and then let's say we go under uh, zip codes, or let's say if you wanted to look under cities. Um, you can you can do it that way. So you can you can definitely browse down to uh, the more more local level there. Okay. If you wanted to save this uh, under actions here, you can download the report as an Excel file, uh, things like that. You can also uh, do little uh, create little nifty charts in here as well to kind of give you a quick uh, chart of um, uh, well, that's the number. That's going to be a silly chart there. Let's do uh, percent uh, who did canoeing and kayaking and do um, uh, create our chart. So that looks better rather than total number. The percentage looks better when you're comparing smaller to bigger areas there. So a good way to kind of find information uh, that way. While you're in Simply Map, it's probably a good idea to look at the variables again and go over and look at like census data or consumer expenditure data. Both of these will give you information as far as like um, um, household income, things like that. So if you want to find information about your local market and overall household income, uh, you can see there's percentages by breakdown, things like that. You can look at household average. Uh, household per capita and basically just works the same way just click use this variable and when you do that your variable will go to the very top of your list and so here we can look at um, what that looks like in each area there so uh, a good way to kind of uh, get other census data in there as well and once again you can go under, under actions here and download the report as an excel file as well now if we want to map this uh, and, and these variables in our area of Spokane what we can do is go back to our map tab or if that tab is not open, you can just click on New Map, and it will open a tab here. And you can go under Variables. And because we've already used these variables, let's just do Recent. And you can see the variables that it just brought up there. So if we just want to look at percent um, who did hiking in the last 12 years, or last 12 months, excuse me, we can click Use This Variable and close it out of that. It's going to center on the U.S., middle of the U.S. here. So we want to go quickly over to Locations. And let's look at, um, let's do cities. And let's do, we can also, also, um, we can do Washington there. We can also go into recent here as well. And then find Spokane, Washington, use this location. All right, and close out of that. What it's going to do is drill down on Spokane, Washington there. And so it looks like uh, most people are in the 12 to 16% category. Uh, now this is something we looked at. We looked at uh, percent who went hiking uh, in the last 12 months. So we might want to change this, change the variables to uh, recent and let's say something that maybe percent who go hiking every chance they get. Let's use this variable and we'll probably see a little bit different breakdown in uh, the colors there. So there you go. And so you can might be able to use this as you drill down further. Um, we can zoom in a little bit and as we get further it's going to break it down into zip codes and even get down into uh, census tracts for us as well uh, once it reloads here. Now you can use this uh, to understand you know, your feasibility analysis as far as like where you're going to set up a location uh, for your store and is there a store there. Once you've created this map all you have to do is go up under actions and you can export the map image as either a PDF or a JPEG uh, or a GIF and put it in your PowerPoint and use it that way. If you like, you can edit the legend here and go uh, and change your colors to one of the other three color options there, um, that sort of thing. So good, good way to get, uh, get data uh, that way. Uh, you can also go in and edit the, uh, the data down to um, um, local uh, natural breaks, and you may find you have a little bit better information uh, to look at there and it may break it down a, a little bit a little bit differently as far as the colors look and you can see it does it does uh, tinker with the the actual data points 
a little bit there as well. So again, you can go in and say, uh, let's look at um, local quantiles, and you can see it does actually break it down uh, that way. And you can see you have a different different color palette there as well. So a good way to kind of uh, really get information uh, that way. Hopefully this video helped you with your research. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.